So let's see if you have the math skills to solve this interesting little math word problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is the following. If you double a number four times, the result is 80. What is the number? Okay, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator. But if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. And of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and recognize that we are dealing with a math word problem. So always be patient with the process. And I like to use the rule of three to kind of force me to really understand the problem, kind of take in all the information and think about what is the best strategy. And of course, really understand what the question is saying. So here uh, we have a number, right? So we're doubling this number four times. What is the number? Well, anytime you have a kind of a, a word or a phrase in a math word problem and you're looking for a quote unquote number, a value, well, this is a perfect uh, situation to use a variable, okay, to represent that number. And of course, if we're going to use a variable, well, then we are going to be using algebra. So I'm gonna let X uh, uh, represent this particular number. And then from there, we need to kind of understand the situation and ultimately, if I have a variable, the only way I can solve for that variable is to build an equation. So let's go ahead and model the problem by first establishing that we're going to let x equal this quote unquote number. All right, so this is what our variable is going to be equal to. Now we have to kind of think about this problem, right? So, well, if we have this number, okay, and we're gonna call that number x, we're going to double this number four times. Okay, so what does that look like? Well, let's go ahead and double this number four times right now. So here is our number x. If we double this number one time, and so for example, if I have three, if I double three, that'd be six. So doubling means we're gonna multiply by two, right? So here is our first double. So that gets us to two x. Our second double is gonna be two x times two. All right, we're gonna double this thing right here. So two x times two, uh, 2x times two is going to be 4x, right? Because two times two x. Remember, you multiply the coefficients, so two times two is four x. So this is our second double. So we're gonna to continue to double here, right? So we're gonna double this thing four times. This was our first time, this was our second time. So let's double again. So four x times two is eight x. That's our third double. And then we, uh, we're gonna double one more time to get our um, doubling four times, right? So eight X times two gets us to 16 X. All right, so this was our fourth time that we doubled this number X. So one more time, so X, this is our first double, two X, four X, eight X, 16 X. Okay, so the result of doubling this number four times is this variable expression 16 X. Now. This is not going to do us any good unless, again, we can build an equation. And the only way we're going to be able to build an, equa an equation is to go back to the problem. And the problem uh, states the following, right? If you double a number four times, the result, okay, is, and the magic word here is this word right uh, here. This is an awesome word Word in algebra. Word problems is because is is always the equal sign. Okay, so if we double a number four times, the result is, so this is going to be translated as equal sign is equal to 80. Okay, so we double this number, okay, x four times, we got 16x right here, right? So this is what we got when we doubled this number uh, four times, 16x, and the result is 80. Okay, so the next step here is going to be uh, to solve this equation. Are you struggling in math because of confusing lessons? Maybe the teacher's not showing you all the steps you need or things are happening too fast. Well, there is a better way. So come on over to my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. There you'll find clear step-by-step -step instruction by me 
that will definitely make a huge difference in your math success. So make sure to check out all my courses by following the links in the description. And then, of course, we'll check our work just to make sure that we did this right. So let's go ahead and take the next step. Okay, so here was our, um, uh, our equation. Remember, we're using algebra here, and we have x. x is our number, right? So we're going to double that number uh, four times. The result is 16x, but the result is 80. Okay, the result is equal to 80, so we have 16x is equal to 80. So to solve this equation for x, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 16. Okay, so 80 divided by 16 is 5. So x is equal to 5. Now, um, let's suppose we're like, oh, is this right? It looks pretty good, but we can easily check this. Let's go ahead and do this right now. So if our number is 5, and if we double that number four times, is the result going to be 80? Well, let's go ahead and double 5, right? So let's start with 5. We'll double it once. That's going to be 10, okay? So let's double again. That would be 20 because 10 uh, doubled, right? 10 times 2. And then we'll double 20 again. Uh, we'll double this number again. So 20 times 2 is 40. And then we'll double one more time. And look, the result indeed is 80. Okay, so a lot of you could have taken all different sorts of approaches. You could actually have started with 80 and worked your way backwards, or you kind of you could have just kind of guessed and checked. Maybe you said, oh, let me take 3 and double 3. Okay, you're looking for some sort of integer value here. So I would have been, oh, that's 6. All right, that would have been 12. And you're like, well, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to 80. Uh, you know, there's all different sorts of approaches. So even if you use trial and error, or your own creative process, that is fantastic, okay? Of course, I'm gonna be a big proponent of using algebra because algebra is such a clean, direct uh, tool to solve all sorts of uh, math problems. By the way, if you like these type of problems, I have a ton of additional algebra word problems on my YouTube channel. Uh, but if you are learning algebra, okay, or if you want to kind of relearn mathematics, uh, check out uh, all my courses. I'm gonna leave um, the links to my main courses in the description of this video to include things like pre-algebra, algebra one, algebra two, geometry, pre-calculus, etc. But uh, if you are getting back into math, or if you want to kind of um, brush up on your math skills, check out my new course. It's called my Math Skills uh, Rebuilder Course. Okay, you'll find it. Uh, you'll find the link to that in the description. But I'm really um, uh, proud of this course. Okay, and a lot of people are taking advantage of it because it's kind of a mixture of, of, uh, of uh, levels of math in one course. I start off with basic arithmetic. So in other words, you don't have to know any algebra or any advanced math to do well and relearn math, or maybe you learn it for the first time if you've been out of school for many years. So you start with, what well, we start with basic mathemati mathematics, arithmetic. We don't take uh, anything for granted. We don't assume that, hey, you remember it all, the stuff about fractions and place values. So we start with that, or I start with that, and this is full instruction, full complete you know, math instruction supported with a ton of example problems. But then we move into a ton of algebra, a ton of geometry, some basic trigonometry, and even some probability and statistics. This is a self-paced course. So if you want to learn math for the first time or really relearn it and strengthen your math skills again, this is the perfect course for you. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.